Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of April. Uh, Lico Daily Challenge, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Shift to the grid. Okay, which one? Okay, so you give me K, shift at K time. What is one? What is K? So do you just move it? Okay, so basically you... I, I, I guess it's not a rotation, but it's just shifting k times okay i mean i guess this is just i mean you could do uh, let, let's look at constraints for a second i i think if k is small enough you can uh uh yeah and k is 100 so you can i guess just do it k, uh do a for loop and and do it k times i think technically if you want to be a little bit smarter you can actually just copy it over um i don't know if you want to do it in place um i get i think if you do it in a in place then you don't have to use extra memory but and eh, there's these just things that you kind of can think about um eh, okay so let, let's get started how do i want to do it hmm uh did i ship a k times or did i just go a new one Let, let's try to upsolve a little bit and do a, a new one uh i mean it's not that much harder of an upsolve but I think it's something that I, um, I get wrong a lot. Is I guess is my point. So, um, yeah. I'm C for W, right? And then now for I in um, yeah okay. Oh, for J in range C matrix of I J is equal to okay. So may, so maybe you can do something like shift. I, J, K, and of course, technically, you can just keep on incrementing, but, um, but it's okay. Uh, pre -life, pre -life. I think technically, uh, I kind of wanted it the other way, actually. So maybe this way, and uh, is you go to a grid of I, J, and then the way, oops, and then at the way, yeah, and of course, the return matrix. Um, and then you have to call the shift function. So x, y, and k, um, this is not independent of rows or and columns. So each row will have c columns. So that means that it is x times c plus y. Um, I have to, I'm trying to figure out which direction it is. Is this plus k or minus k? Uh, let's, because I, eh, this thing is hard. So I guess, I, eh, I, th I guess we can just do it both ways. And then if it, it's wrong, then um then it is just wrong uh but yeah so then this is basically number it from left to right and uh, just call it position maybe and then of course uh after you mod the uh, you to the k then now you have position uh mod oh divided by c position mod c hopefully uh it may be in the wrong direction but i think the idea should be right uh yep looks good Try some small numbers. Okay, so that looks good. So I think we should be good to just give it a submit. Hopefully this is right. I wonder how what I did last time. Okay, I guess I probably just shifted K time last time. Uh, let's take a quick look. Yeah, okay. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, the, the complexity is going to be all... I, I, I want to say N because... Uh, but that's confusing. So the complexity will be O of R times C, which is the size of the input. So it's going to be linear time. Uh, this is also going to be linear space. Um, yeah, because we, we allocate, obviously, this, this memory. You can actually do it in place if you're really slick and smart about it. The idea is, is a little bit tricky. Um, you can think about how you do it one at a time by shifting it one at a time by keeping track of the previous, etc. You can kind of do that except for that the cycle length uh, may not be the entire uh, uh, matrix because it depends on k and r times c. Um, but you can kind of think about it almost like a permutation cycle type thing where where every number has a, a, a number that it's referring to. And in that case, you can, you can do that to kind of get the entire matrix. So... Uh, I'll leave it up to you at home if you want to try up solving that using in place memory. Um, but yeah.
that's pretty much all I have for this one. Happy Monday, happy Sunday, wherever you are. Um, have a great week. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.